All right, hey everyone. Um, I'm just going to show you um, how to install these RCD blocks for the Schneider breakers. So, first part is you, you obviously get the RCD block, then um, you need to peel this little tab off on the circuit breaker. No, it's just a sticky tab. So that's got a little indent there, right? That pairs up with the indent on, if you can see that, the indent on the thing, on the RCD block. So if you can you see that when the RCD trips, it's mechanically interlocking with this um, circuit breaker here. Right, so they're pretty easy to install. It's a little bit fiddly getting everything lined into place, but once it's in, it's in. You give that a little push at the bottom, that locks it in, kick that across. All right, then at the top, um, it's just got a tab there that hangs on, so that's actually secure now. So all you gotta do now is uh, talk these bad boys up. Because obviously the feed comes out of this breaker and goes into the top of the RCD fitting. So, all right. so that gets capped off and then you've got your incoming feeds, red, white, blue, and then a neutral tail. So this neutral goes to the bar as the reference neutral and then the neutral for the circuit actually hooks up here. So a good little unit. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the Schneider model is that it's an extra three poles, which really pushes you for stay, space in some switchboards, especially doing any sort of um, remedial upgrade you know the rcd rules are in, in force now for anything 32 amps and below three phase so you've got to put these in but there's no space in the board so there's a couple of um, models that make them in three pole only as a as a single unit which is ideal but we need to get uh the other manufacturers to sort of start you know thinking about making a three pole unit for three phase devices so yeah just a quick little look thanks for watching